It's 6.30 in the morning. The participants are up bright and early, ready for their big day. They're here to go balloon trekking, a combination of riding in a hot air balloon followed by hiking. I love hiking, and what we do here is we land somewhere with the balloon, and then you have to find your way back on foot. It was Helmut Scheuler who invented the concept. He's an experienced balloon pilot. Many tourists come here to go hiking, but he wanted to offer them more. They only planned to go hiking, but then they got here and thought, this is really different. We only normally hike with maps on selected tours with a guide. With a balloon tour, we land somewhere and then we look on the map to find out where we are. The balloon trekking tour costs around 200 euros. First, everyone has to help set up the balloons, each 25 meters tall. My arms are going to fall off soon. Everything's in order. Now the balloons, worth about 75,000 euros each, are ready to take to the skies. I've always admired these. We live in an area where we often see balloons overhead. I always looked up and thought, wow, I wish I were on board. The balloon travels on the wind. Now and then, the propane gas burner fires up. But for most of the journey, the craft drifts silently through the air. Now we're at 2,500 meters. Yeah, the time really flies. After an hour and a half, the balloon touches down. Super. It was beautiful. Just beautiful. Once back on the ground, they find out that they're about 10 kilometers from their starting point as the crow flies. So they have about a three-hour hike back. Armed with compass and map, they set off. But it's not always easy. The signposts are sometimes confusing. But so far, none of the groups has failed to find their way back. Wonderful, that was a new experience. A lovely day. Saw lots. It was really great. Balloon trekking in Egloff's tire. Nearly eight hours of hiking and hot air ballooning. Everyone's tired, but it's been a day to remember. <laughs>